Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Capricorn. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have someone rising or Venus placements in Capricorn or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my extended readings. If you're interested, click the join button below or there is a link in the description box to get more information about that. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. All right. So I feel like I need to either light some sage or spray some sage spray. I don't know if I, my lighter is not working, so I might not be able to light some sage. Let's try because that's always the best. I need to go get my other lighter. Yeah, this one's dead. So, okay. Do some smudge spray. All right. All right, what is going on with my Capricorn Collective? All right, we have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Star, Aquarius Energy. We have the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. The Eight of Pentacles in Reverse. Clarify the Two of Pentacles. Strength, Leo energy. Clarify the star, the six of pentacles in reverse. Mm. Clarify the queen of swords, the nine of wands in reverse. Clarify the seven of pentacles in reverse, the ace of wands. So you guys are finally having the strength or the courage to do something here. You guys have, have finally had the strength and the courage. Something that you were like going back and forth about or debating about. You finally have the self-love and the self-respect, um, the courage. You're honing on your inner strength here. You've had enough time to think and kind of sit with the decision to make, to be able to, or to sit with your choices to make a decision that you feel like is in alignment with self-love and self-respect. All right. So you're starting to heal from some type of situation like you guys are in this healing energy where it's like you're not really giving you're not giving your energy to things that are not balanced and reciprocal so it's like you're really being kind of selfish with your energy right now like but not in a bad way you're just you have no desire to have anything to do with one-sided connections or strings attached type connections or inequalities like people that abuse your like you guys feel like you people have abused your kindness or your good heart or your loving nature your nurturing nature your giving nature so i feel like you guys are in this energy of trying to give all that energy to yourselves because you probably feel like you need it so i feel like you guys have finally made a decision here like there's this de decisive energy here where you're you're making the, the decision to set some type of boundary in a situation where you feel like it's been very one-sided or there's been a lack of reciprocity and this may be more than one situation like you guys gave me in this energy where you're no longer like letting people walk on you or use you whether it's it could be one person it could be more than one person but you're making a decision you're being more logical um you're communicating your boundaries very clearly i definitely feel like you are and you're refusing to compromise on that like you're like this is what this is how i feel and this is what I will allow, and this is what I won't allow, and that's that. And you're not letting anybody go back on that, you know, overstep those boundaries anymore. Um, I feel like this has definitely been hard for you, but I do feel like you're you're maybe even making the decision to give up on a situation, stop investing in something that you feel um, is just not going anywhere. Like it, it has no, it's not going in any. It's like it's not making any progress. Like you're stop, you're not going to put energy into that anymore. Okay, so we do have death on the back of the deck. So you guys could have had an ending with some of you guys, this is a marriage for some of you. This isn't a marriage or there's somebody who ended things with you or that you had an ending with. It could be an air sign who is feeling very regretful and a pessimistic and feeling abandoned because you're pulling back your energy. You're, you're pulling back your effort and you're kind of focusing on yourself and somebody's feeling very left out in the cold by this. All right. 
somebody is kind of not liking that how self-focused you are right now but this is also somebody from what i can see that was not taking advantage so anything else that they need to know about whoever this is yep king of wands in reverse that's a very selfish energy all right impulsive controlling um forceful what about this king of wands in reverse could be an aries leo or a sag see somebody feels like they missed an opportunity with you yeah lost opportunity stressing this could a person could also be having financial issues because i did see the five of pentacles in reverse so that's somebody that's trying to like recover from something financially or just recover from something in general but somebody feels like they missed an opportunity so what now yeah they don't want to yeah so think there has been an ending but they're going to try to resurrect something here okay they're going to try to keep something from ending completely or try to keep something stuck or they know that losing you is a missed opportunity so I don't feel like this person has changed. I'm going to be honest. So Ace of Cups here. Okay, we have the Lovers in Reverse Gemini Energy. So um, what is the, the Lovers in Reverse? The Magician. Aries, Virgo, Gemini. Um, What are they trying to manifest? They want to restart things with you, but the Knight of Pentacles, the Chariot, okay, Cancer Energy, the Eight of... Yeah, somebody's about to return here. They've been moving very slowly towards you. But it's like they, they're they trying to work towards being able to offer you something more solid or something like that. Being able to have success with you. Why is the Gemini? Why, why is the Gemini? Why is the, the lovers in reverse, though? The, the emperor. The seven. Of, it's like someone feels like. Somebody may feel like they made a wrong decision. What? Did, what give me one more card about the lovers in reverse. The page of cups in reverse. Okay. The Queen of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune. This person could be having an ending elsewhere. Hmm. Why was this person not giving to this connection with Capricorn? Why was this person not giving to the connection with Capricorn? See, we have the emperor coming out again. What about the emperor? Like I said, Aries energy, the Hierophant in reverse. Okay. Oh gosh. Hold on guys. Um, we have the eight of Pentacles in reverse. What about the Eight of Pentacles in reverse? Judgment. The moon. What about the moon? Somebody's learning a lesson here. I feel like for some of you, this person didn't want to leave their comfort zone, but their comfort zone was not producing any good like results. Like their comfort zone... isn't pretty yeah it's just not leading to what they want it to be hmm i don't think this person was very focused on being in a commitment either like they were not thinking about marriage and commitment i don't know but they're having some type of wake-up call and what's that have to do with you though it's leading to some type of change two of swords the king what about the king of cups in reverse the two of cups in reverse the devil somebody's leaving a toxic relationship here so this person could have been indecisive about something whether or not they wanted to withdraw from something here break leave a situation that was toxic but what does that do with you so yeah they want to reconcile with you so this is somebody that was they could have been married for some of you or they just could not commit to you because they were already committed or they were non-committal i don't know but this person is walking away from something toxic here because they want to reconcile or this is you guys to making the decision to walk away from a situation that you view as toxic and possibly even block this person. You're finally getting out of this indecisive energy. You're making up your mind about something about this person that was being emotionally uh, uh, unavailable and very wishy-washy and fickle and selfish. 
you're you're choosing to kind of like you're not interested in this anymore or you're you're choosing to withdraw like completely cut off some of you guys are blocking this person completely detaching you're 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 detaching from this you don't see happiness here anymore with this person maybe in the past you did but i feel like you're i don't know it's just like you're making the decision to close something out here libra energy and what but they want to reconcile with you yeah, Ace of Swords, you're probably going to hear from this person, but why is the Page of Wands in reverse? The Temperance, they want to reconcile, but they're coming through as pages, guys. Like, this person, they do view you as a missed opportunity. I just don't feel like you're going to want anything to do with this. Yeah. You're very skeptical when it comes to this person. Yeah, Eight, the Empress, the Seven of Cups. You're, you're no longer confused about, like, you're, like I said, you know what you you know what's in your worth and what's not now. So you're not gonna just take this person back as easily because if they're not coming towards you and offering you something that's in alignment with your value, you're not doing it. They can't because there was some type of illusion here. I don't know if you guys were having a hard time seeing your worth or you you were settling. There's something that you're seeing clearly now. I said, and you you clearly see what you deserve and your worth and. It's like you're, this person can no longer like keep you stuck on them or in their in your head or whatever or in this illusion. So now when they want to come back trying to reconcile with you, how's that going to go for them, Spirit? How's that going to go for them? The Four of Pentacles, the Sun in Reverse. I feel like you guys are going to choose to hold back from this person. This person is also very possessive over you. So if you don't like just give yourselves to them, like, or, you know, you don't open up to them, they're going to feel some type of way about that. But I feel like you guys are going to be very guarded towards this person and very pessimistic when it comes to them. And they're not going to be happy about this Leo energy. Yeah. They're going to feel like rejected. They're going to feel like they, they yeah, they're going to feel like a failure. Yeah. It's going to, it's going to bruise their ego. Like whatever they thought they were going to accomplish there, it doesn't look like they're going to do it because you're releasing this person and this is going to be a tower moment for this person. Yeah, this is going to be a tower for them. They're not expecting this. Okay. Um, what do I want to use here? It's like you're seeing things very clear now. And things are going to be very different now. Boundaries, I'm telling you. They love that you set strong boundaries for yourself and walk away from those who don't respect them, including them. So it's almost like you guys doing this is actually making this person want you more or respect you more. Tell me more. We have, yeah, bad. So now you're matching this person's energy. If they want to be stubborn, they want to hold back. Um, they want to be stingy with the energy and the time that they give to you. They want to answer you when they want to answer you. They want to ignore you when they want to ignore you. All those things you're like, well, I need to start matching this person's energy. Not stooping down to their level, like their inner, don't lower your vibration for them. That's not what I'm saying. But you guys need to be just as protective over your energy as this person is. Stingy with their, giving out your time and your energy to people like this, you know, because it's like, they're very stingy with the, the amount of care and effort and things that they put out. Right. So you need to do this just to protect yourself, to protect your energy. So yeah, it's like now this person has been guarded. Now you're guarded too. This person's not going to like this. They're not going to like this at all because now they're about to get a taste of their own medicine. Now they're about to see what it feels like to deal with somebody that is very closed off and guarded and stingy and very self-focused and only cares about what's good for them and things like that. You know what I mean? And you're doing this because you have to with this person because they're, they're, a, they're a leech, but they're about to realize what it, which, how they, how you felt the whole time you were dealing with them. Okay. We have wishing well. There's a lot of excitement in the air. You awaken to new life in them that has lot, has them lost in a field of possibilities. So this person's thinking about what the two of you, your future could look like, but they're not telling you this. They're holding back from you. We have twin flame, of course. You don't have to be or do anything for them to love you. Their higher self wants union as much as you do. Yeah, look at this. This is what I told you. They're not going to be expecting this. They're going to finally come in and say something to you. 
speak up or whatever, give you, try to give you some type of clarity. Or if you just have not been sure what's going on with this person, if they still want to be with you, they're still holding out, whatever's happening, you're about to get in clarity, clarity on that. But it says when the answers arrive, it might be too late or you have moved on. That's what they're not expecting. This person, for some reason, thought that they were never going to run out of time, that you would always be there, that you would never move on to anybody else. So we have divine, and that's why they're going to start also feeling very possessive. So we have divinely guided. You have met your divine flame. Just follow the signs to your soul and everything will occur in divine timing. We have losing battle. I told you, you guys are giving up on this. You are fighting a losing battle against your opposition. It's like they're not trying to work with you. They're almost like working against you. Don't downgrade yourself. Play at your level and not theirs. I just said that. I just said that we have breaking free. See, they're freeing themselves from their self-imposed prison and leaving behind everything that all that kept them away from you. Why are they doing this now? Because they miss you. Why are they breaking free now? The gods favor you. So it says now is the time your prayers have been heard and you will succeed and be vindicated. So things the, the tables are turning in your favor here. Energy cords. Give me one more. We have mysterious. So it's like you're becoming very mysterious. You're very good. You're going to be more closed off to this person, not as accessible to this person. And it's making them wonder, like, what the hell do you got going on? Some of you guys, like I said, block this person. You eliminated access to the to, that they had to you despite the, But they still feel you. It says despite the distance between you, they still feel the energetic cords that is keeping you two connected. And we have mysterious one. They kept they, the mystery of you intrigues them. You keep them guessing and engaged. So the fact that you're eliminating access is making them more, want you more, feel more drawn to you, more curious about you. Yeah, it keeps them guessing and engaged, very different from the rest. You're not laying all your cards out on the table anymore. And it's making them like very curious and want to chase you and kind of, you know, figure out what's going on with you and how you're feeling. And we have separation. It says they're focusing. So this person's been very self-focused. Like I said, Sphere says, okay, they've been so self-focused to the point where they've been, they've been neglecting you. You know, they, they didn't choose you. They chose themselves, which sometimes you do need to do that. But they chose to maybe separate themselves from you or let you go or walk. Whatever they did, they chose themselves. They chose to, to put themselves first. They chose not to make you a priority. So Spirit is saying, this person also felt like kind of like they didn't have anything to give you. But that's what they, they chose. Instead of trying to maybe build a life with you or whatever, they chose themselves. But the problem with this person is they chose themselves, but there's, they chose themselves, but they also are possessive over you and they don't want you really moving on completely from them. So that's not fair. They chose to be self-focused. This person needs to understand you can't put people on hold. You can't put them on the back burner. You can't save them for later. So this person thought that they could be all about themselves and give nothing to you. They were taking from you. I saw it. They were taking. They were they were expecting you to give to them while they gave nothing, while they just focused on themselves, but they expect you to keep giving to them. That's not fair, okay? So that's the problem. If they would have just let you go, be like, okay, I think I need to just focus on myself and we need to just, you know, go our separate ways. And you guys were done. You know, they moved on. You moved on. Cool. No. This person wanted you to be able to just focus completely on them, not give anything to you, but you, they wanted you to continue to pour into them and wait on them and give to them when they wanted you to. And that's like, they're learning, they're about to learn their lesson here. Yep. It says taming the beast. They're, so they're about to realize that if they used to be able to have easy access to you in the past, like they could come in when they wanted to, they could reach, they, they could come in and out when they wanted to. They're about to realize that they're not going to, it's not the same anymore. It's not like that. Okay. It says you make them putty in your hands. They know their old conquering ways will not work with you. We have divine truth. So it says we are helping this connection evolve to see things as they really are and bring light to all that has been hidden. Also, we have dreams. They've been dreaming so much about you want to manifest their dreams into reality. So this person's focused on getting their money together. Like they're, they're very like this person's been very focused on building a solid foundation for themselves, which is, again, a good thing. They've been focused on their money. They've been focused on like get, becoming more stable and independent and all those things. But, and they're, they're literally dreaming about a future with you. But the problem with this person is that they're not, they're not giving anything to you. They're not, they're not investing anything into you. They, they, they dream about a future with you. Ugh, it's like the way that this person went about it is, is the wrong way. Like they do want a future with you. They are trying to get more stable to be able to be with you and to have something to offer you. But in the process, they completely de neglected you and just thought that, that, they, that, that they could give nothing to you and keep you waiting on them. That, that you, would just, you were just supposed to wait, not move on and be with anybody else, not completely cut them off. 
just be there waiting for them until they got their shit together. Like, I don't know. This person is, it's an, I don't know. They're delusional. Yep. It says they see how their focus on material things hasn't made them happy and only holding them back from love. Yeah, they have an insatiable thirst, a thirst that no one else but you can satisfy, craving you more and more. We have breakthrough. Yeah. They are planning right now to come towards you to ask for a second chance. Expect communication really soon. Ugh, I don't know, y'all. For some of you, they just, they did, they chose to not leave another, another situation because they thought that that was the best place for them to become stable. And that was possibly also another reason why you and this person are not speaking or you're pulling your back, pulling away from them. This person is extremely stingy with their feelings, emotions, time, energy, effort, and all that stuff, but expects you to give a lot. All right. Give me a few. And then I'm taking this over to the extended reading. Yep. What did I say? We have ghosted, unable to confront feelings or what they are feeling, wants to avoid conflicts, explanation, and self-introspection. Convenient to run instead of facing the other person's reaction. So this person runs a lot. When they don't want to have to take accountability for something, they don't want to have to tell the truth about something. They don't want to have to have a difficult conversation. They ghost you. They disappear. And then they come back when they feel like it. Or and they feel like they also try to like sleep it under the sweep it under the rug when they do come back. It says, we have experienced so many similar things in our lives. I always thought I was the only one who had these experiences. I take comfort in knowing that, that you truly understand me. So we have dark night of the soul here. Enhanced awareness of identity and extremely difficult and painful period. Personal and deep development of oneself. What is sending this person? In? Tell me more about dark night of the soul. We have, I don't care what it takes, how long it takes, who I upset. I'm going to return to you one way or another. So either they're already in the dark night of the soul or they're about to enter it, but they're going to be very determined to come back towards you because it says soulmate, twin flame, whatever it is. I feel you are my equal. You make me want to be a better person, not just for you, but also for myself. You challenge me to ch change and grow. Yep. I had my life all planned out, focusing on my five-year plan, but then I met you and everything changed. I didn't know how to rearrange my life. See, this person has never like made you a priority. It's like they had, they're very focused on something and it looks like money and building a foundation for themselves. Like they're very self-focused, but they also wanted you, but they wanted you on their terms. And when they wanted, like they wanted you to, they wanted to be able to put you down when they wanted to and pick you back up when they wanted to. And that's not fair. All right. It says, I didn't know how to rearrange my life for you. I should have learned to compromise. This person was having a really hard time integrating you into their life, being able to make time for you and everything else that they had going on. I don't know. Let's do one more. What about Dark Knight of the Soul? But now it's like they pushed you away in the process. And all these things that they've been dreaming and wishing to have for you, once they do get their shit together, that may not be a possibility because of how they treated you. Yeah, we have triggered here. People and places remind them of you. Panic, feel overwhelmed, cry, act out, withdrawn, or react defensively. Strong, uncomfortable emotional reaction to something that wouldn't ordinarily cause that response. Why are they triggered? Or what's triggering here? I recognize our connection was intense and it still burns my soul. It's a connection that can never be broken. You're sending this person into having more self-awareness. And this is very difficult for this person. You sent them into a period of personal and deep development of themselves. Yeah. So it's like you came in, you triggered this, them to start transforming, but they didn't know how to, I got, like I said, integrate you into their life. Yeah, intense connection and deep emotions feels very familiar with each other. Time seems to stop in each other's presence. They took you for granted, guys. Yeah, they took you for granted. Helps each other grow not only as individuals, but as spiritual beings. Yeah, you trigger transformation in this person. But once they started and they did, they became very de determined to change and get their life together. But for some reason, they took you for granted. They took they like, they weren't acknowledging like, hey, the reason why I'm wanting to change my life. Capricorn was a good influence on me. They were the reason why I wanted to start getting my life together. They really helped me. They were a, they were a good guide for me and all those things. They 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 started they they lost sight of that. I don't know. They kind of just like loot threw you away once they started like really starting to get their started working on themselves and I don't know guys how else to explain it. I hope that what I'm saying makes sense, but I'm going to take this over to the extended reading. The link will be in the description box where you can join my channel to get access to all my extended readings. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you in the extended reading. Bye.